Namaste guys. In this video, I am going to show you how to make a path length uh, motion mechanism in SOLIDWORKS. So basically you can see that there is a spiral and when I rotate, the rod is moving forward or backward. So I am making this video because I got a request from some guy on Facebook. So let's start the tutorial. So first of all click on new, select assembly, click ok. Now close this. Remember I am going to make all parts in assembly. So click on the new part. After that select the component, click on the workspace and click on edit component. Now select the front plane, click on sketch, press ctrl plus 8 for normal screen to the view. Now draw a circle as per your requirement. Here I am drawing a circle of diameter 300 mm. Click OK. After that go to features, click on extrude ball space and give it a length of 20 mm and click on rebuild. After that select the face, click on sketch, press ctrl plus 8 and draw a another circle. Let's say its diameter is 50 mm. Click OK. After that, click on Features tab. Go to Curves. Click on Helix and Spiral. Here, I already selected the spiral and the pitch is 50 mm and the number of revolution is 2.25. You can change the pitch revolution as per your requirement. Here, I am satisfied with this requirement. If you want to change it, you can change as per your requirement and click ok now what uh, what we uh, I need to do is go to eye mode click on view curves select the top face click on sketch select this line click on convert entities now some people will say hey why don't you select this helix and click on extrusion remember when you create a spiral or helix, your extrusion feature will not gonna work. Okay. And because of the reason, I choose the convert entities. Now select here the uh, mid plane. Enter the thickness as per your requirement. Here I am entering the thickness of 20 mm. You can change it as per your requirement. And I am doing extrusion of 20 mm. Click OK. Now Again, select the top face, click on sketch, press ctrl plus 8, draw a circle of diameter 50 mm, click ok, after that go to features, click on curves, click on helix and spiral and repeat the step, click ok. A question will arise in your mind, why I create two helix, uh, don't worry, I will create I will clean this doubt, clear this doubt later on and now exit the edit assembly mode click on insert new component click on new part here you see this traffic light icon so this is called the rebuild so click on the rebuild so that this icon go on now select the part click on the edit component now go downwards select the front plane click on sketch Press Ctrl plus 8 for normal skin to the view. Now select corner rectangle, draw a rectangle or road as per the length of your requirement. Now draw a center line. Press escape. Now give the dimensions of the road as per your requirement. Here I am entering the value of 50 mm. So this must be 20. Uh, 20 change it to 40 mm for better and okay now press escape select this point move it little forward go to smart dimensions give the length of the road 300 mm click ok after that Draw circle just here and similarly draw another circle. Uh, 
if you want to make it a exact dimensions you can make it uh, it is not gonna it is not some big problem but uh, you know just gonna make my work and the distance from here to here is 20 mm because I choose the h2 thickness feature of 20 mm okay now go to features click on extrude boss base go to selected counter select the circles also and the rectangle and extrusion is 20 mm now move here select this sketch click on show select this face click on sketch press ctrl plus 8 for normal screen to the view now select this circle uh, select this face first sorry okay uh, we are incorrect so select this and click on convert entities if you are not able to see convert entities option make sure you select this face and click on sketch after that go to features or oh, wait a minute let's select this circle also convert entities extrude boss base 20 mm okay now select this face click on sketch now here comes the important thing click on point so basically this point plays a very important role because we are going to make uh, make a path as contact and i'm going to use this point as a um, made reference without this my path at point contact will not gonna work okay escape and exit now select the uh, Select the top plane in the assembly. Press Ctrl plus 8 for normal screen to the view. Draw a line. After that, go to assembly. Exit the sketch. Click on mate. Remove this sketch. As you can see, uh, that head is written is sketch and the line is selected. But clear the selection and select the line again. But here you see it's written line 1 at the rate sketch 1. So basically I am going to make the line, not the whole sketch. Okay. After that, select this circle and click on OK. The mistake is that, that this component is fixed. So right click on it, click on float. Now try to mate it, click on mate. Select this line, select this circle, click on concentric, click OK. Select this face, select the front plane, click on sketch, click OK. Now close it. Now right click on this part, click on float, move it up a little upward. Now select the top plane of the road, click on mate and select the top plane of the assembly click ok and mate it now go to advance click on path length move downward it's asking for the point so select this point and for the path selection select this uh, select this uh, spiral length click ok so as you can see when I rotate, it rotate correctly. You can do more cool stuff like things. If you have any doubts, inquiries, make sure you ask in comments. Thanks for watching and have a great day. And make sure uh, there are other playlists in the descriptions. You can also watch them. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Namaste.